Oh, hey there. Uh, got a couple of updates to the speech recognition tool I wanted to show you. Uh, so this is version 1.07, and we've changed the settings to be into the radio menu. Uh, so the context menu has a Neos Whisper, and this has some various options now. Um, the show hide text will simply do that. Show and hide the text uh, placement, the template that gets built out. Um, if we change the size here, we can just toggle between three different sizes. And then uh, fonts, I've implemented uh, a few different fonts, Anonymous, Montserrat, and Roboto. Um, and then the mute button here, this is for a feature. So one of the things in here is when I'm unmuted in Neos, this is a microphone and it records a uh, audio file. This is an audio file. This is an audio file. And then you can see it transcribes on my hand. Now sometimes I'm walking around the world and I'm taking notes. I don't really want this to show up. And so I thought we would implement just a way to mute the user. And then this audio doesn't show up. And we just have our text. I'm also working on a way to um, run it locally. Uh, it's still uh, less reliable than the API. Um, it takes up a little more VRAM. Uh, and when you're running Neos and this transcriber at the same time on the GPU, uh, simply run out and processing sucks. So uh, for now, I'm keeping with the API, but I'll give it a put an option in the script uh, that you can run it. Uh, on your actual machine and not have to send it out to the API. But one of the other things I want to fix is this. Uh, in order to change the default menu items, uh, it's a little bit complicated, but you can see when I pull up my menu, there's a lot of options here. A lot of these are from the default microphone uh, and I don't really want to show all of these. I just want to see like maybe one button that hides all of these and then the Neos Whisper. And that'll, that'll make this menu a little nicer I think um, but in order to do that you have to <laughs> dynamically change what's on the user so I'm gonna figure that out. Oh another thing I didn't mention um, if you open this up in the inspector uh, you'll see a few different things Let's see if I equip this So one is the text itself, the template. Uh, this gets changed to the actual text. This is done with a, a value copy on the text here. So we're just copying the, the source here is the actual text render, uh, text on text render, and the target is the name of, of this. So it's a little easier to find those in your world because this gets copied out to the root. Uh, the other thing to note is there's a change log inside here. Everywhere uh, you pull one of these open, you'll see an updated change log. Uh, so this is 1.07 and it takes the text object name equals the value of text, the, the what I just explained. 